Hello. Um, as the majority of people here from Visual, Visual Soft, I guess introductions aren't really needed. I'm James. I'm a lead developer at Visual Soft, um, and I'm doing a bit of an introduction to Blackfire. So Blackfire is a profiling tool. Um, it isn't the only one out there. Uh, there are other options. Blackfire I found to be the easiest one to set up. So. The idea behind Blackfire is to find the performance bottlenecks in your code. What you're looking for is the inefficient sections where you're running through and loading something multiple times, where you're looking for recommendations in how to improve that. Um, when you found the bottleneck, you can fix it and you can actually write the test to ensure that doesn't happen again. Same way in test-driven development that you can ensure that you don't break you're coding the same way again. You actually make sure you don't create the same bottleneck. Uh, this, I'm, realizing I'm not falling behind here. Um, you can automate these tests with your own testing suite at the moment. So if you're using Behat, PHP unit, etc., it integrates with them already. And it's helping by lost my place. Um, it can be very difficult to test an application properly um, from a performance aspect. Looking for service degradation when you're just clicking through manually makes the points of a second difficult to actually detect. Actually automating this means that even if you lose point one of a second, that's a degradation that you don't necessarily want. And over four or five pull requests, you can be adding a second of load time to your application without realizing. So, Blackfire, one of the main advantages that can be used in production. Uh, you're, you, say you're managing the framework behind a busy website, a busy e-commerce website. If you're finding a slow load time in production and you can't replicate that in local dev or in staging, you can't just go, oh, this isn't a problem. Blackfire allows you to actually see this in production and run the test in production. Uh, so, for example, if you're getting high load on your database, it will actually show you that the write speed and read speed from your database is the issue or the I.O. of the uh, network drives. So, um, Blackfire is really easy to integrate. I expected a little bit of hassle setting it up in Docker um, more than anything else because sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle to add any extra integration to Docker. Um, it took about 30 seconds of including an extra container and running an extra install on your PHP section. Um, it doesn't, there's very little difference to running that on any other server. You get a command and you can give this to any member of staff that has rights. The command doesn't change per server. It does all of the detection from your local environment and adds it. So, in your application, the majority of the time you're looking for time. Um, that, when you're profiling, is what you want to be improving as what is perceived by the user. Blackfire uses, records time as wall clock time. So if you started your application running and had a wall clock, you watch and you can see the exact number of seconds it would take. When it's displayed within the application, it's displayed in two ways. Every function has an inclusive and exclusive time. This is how long the inclusive time is how long it took from that function to call itself and all of its children. And the exclusive time is purely how long it's spent in that particular function, not taking into account the children. So, 
So, Blackfire tests. Every time you raise a pull request, for example, you want a set of tests to run now. The first test here, which is Google page speed expectation, what we're looking for is less than 2,000 milliseconds for the whole application to finish running and to make sure that no emails are sent on any page. So the two best practice tests that Blackfire recommends. You shouldn't be sending anything synchronously and you shouldn't be taking less than 2,000 milliseconds for a general page load. Um, the t next test down is specific to the home page and that is testing to make sure there's no query calls on your home page. This, like I say, will be specific to your application. Um, the main peak memory, so the maximum memory that is used by your application would be less than 10 meg. And the network output, so the page speed that will be delivered back to the browser should be less than 100k. If any time you run your test suite or profile the Blackfire application at any stage, if any of these tests fail, they do show. So even if you're profiling in production, it will show that it failed the test. So if somebody ignored a test failure, all the way up to production, you would still see it there. Blackfire scenarios. So what these allow you to do is ensure that when your pull request goes in, specific pages are tested. So you can manually click through and profile every request. This runs and you list out what pages definitely need to be checked every time. Uh, it is just YAML. I'm sure Nathan will explain YAML to you if, he, if you want. He is an expert in it. Uh, and the command down here is the build trigger. So how you're sending the request data to Blackfire to record. Um, and this just means that in Blackfire you get a nice link to click back through to your pull request and from your pull request back to Blackfire. So, there's not really much to live demo on Blackfire. It doesn't present onto a projector really well. It's quite small and fiddly. So what I've done is I've took screenshots and we'll walk you through what it's doing. Um, so this application takes the 1988 Winter Olympics athletes, it was the first result that came up on Kaggle, and reads them into a database table. Now what it's doing is it's checking that it's the first time that that athlete is inserted into the database on a first and create. Um, what we're seeing here, which still might be a bit small, um, so it hits our function, import CSV into database, and then we see 249 calls to first or create. We then see from first or create what happens after that. So we're seeing 249 checks for the record, and there was 130 of them unique, so it's adding them in. Then we have our wall clock time, so this function took 12.2 seconds to run. The input output time was 3.1 seconds, so that is the time it's spent writing to the database of the total time, um, and time it took in compute was nine seconds. Your memory, so the total memory used in your application and the network traffic. Uh, that's network traffic in and out of PHP, not just of your server. When this was profiled, you get some very nice recommendations from Blackfire. You can pay for even better ones, but general recommendations are quite useful. And this is, of the 382 queries executed, I should have probably executed 10 or less as their recommendation. So, to profile, to have a look at what you could take out of Blackfire with this, I decided to compare Eloquent with actually doing raw SQL queries on joins. So what I have on the top example is the eloquent getting athletes with their team and team country as three separate tables. Though for anyone that's not aware, with 
does an eagle load within Laravel uh, to reduce the number of requests. Otherwise, you get the n plus one problem of every time you want to read, you're requerying the database. The second example is actually writing the raw SQL. So what I get on Eloquent, if I changed it to the query builder, is I get 10% less time on CPU, 10% less memory used, 7, well, 8% less traveling through the network, and then one less uh, database connection, and one it comes out at one less query. That goes up and up and up the more joins you need. Um, this was more to prove the difference between Query Builder and Eloquent as an example. Um, this can change over time. Obviously, Laravel have improved that a lot. But as an example of what can be read out from Blackfire, it works quite well. So if I can. So when you profile, you get uh, your list of everything you've profiled so far. I believe there is a limit on this on the free tier. I don't believe there is on uh, a paid tier for it. Now, if I compare, so if I was changing from Eloquent to Query Builder, this will pop out the comparison of the calls. Now, what we're looking at here is the 10% less uh, CPU time. Pick the wrong example here. There you go. So, less spent time in read-write, less time spent in compute, less storage, and less database requests. And the data you get back from Blackfire is quite granular, down to every tier of your application, from initial call all the way through. to delivery. Uh, that's my introduction to Blackfire. Do you have any questions? How long did it take you to do the animations on your slides? <laughs> <laughs> do you like them? Do you, do you want a copy? So that test will be on your own test framework. Um, the test that you run in production will be the Blackfire tests, which are profiling tests and specific to the Blackfire result set. Um, so it runs in the background on your server and looks for a request header. So there's an application you install to Chrome which sends that request header. Um, that plugin expects you to be logged into Blackfire and sends 
excuse me, your Blackfire token with it, so nobody else can profile your server, and the result only goes into your Blackfire account. So it is secure. Um, Blackfire also filters out, so when a query is sent, it lists, it will show the query minus the actual criteria, so it will show you everything but the values that would be inserted. Visual soft tiring, if anybody's interested. <laughs> and that's the back of Jamie's head. So Jamie's famous this evening. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>